So I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing so much cute outfits, trends, pieces popping up all over my Instagram and Pinterest pages and I want to participate in them. I want to have those cute outfits too. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys that it is possible to thrift some trends that we see all over social media and not shell out so much money in order to look cute and have a cute outfit. We're going to be going to the thrift store and I have a list with me on my phone of all of the stuff that I want to look for that I feel like have been trending recently. I'm manifesting to the thrift gods right now and we find all of these really amazing pieces. I feel like your outfit when you go thrifting is a very crucial part. You need to be comfy and you need to just be in a state where you can focus on thrifting over sweating. Let's do a thrift haul. I have a huge bag of all of the stuff that I thrifted from the Intramuros thrift trip that I went to and also I'm going to be including a bunch of stuff that I thrifted from Baguio because I went recently and I picked out a few things and I thought just include it in this video. By the way, this tote bag is from 
Nisa, Miss Nisa. When I just need a big bag for something, I like using this. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how much I have. It's literally a huge pile of clothes. And I'm so excited to show you guys everything. But before that, I wanted to share with you guys the accessories that I'm wearing right now because I feel like accessories are a really big part of my outfits. Whenever I'm not wearing accessories, I just feel like I'm naked. Like I feel like my outfit's not complete. I feel like it just needs a little something just to tie the whole look together. So I recently discovered a jewelry brand called Eta Love and I just love their pieces so much because I feel like every single piece that they have is so unique and tells like a story. So I have on two rings from them right now and a pair of earrings. So the ring I have over here is called the Fair Verona ring. The details on this ring are just so nice. It has this heart with a sword in it and the sides of it have like this cross detail. I also love how it's silver so that it matches all of my outfits. And then I also have this other ring on my other hand. This is called the In Bloom Malachite ring and I love the green stone in the middle. I love how it's like a pop of color. This is like perfect if you guys are wearing like neutral outfits and you want your accessories to be the one to speak for itself and be the centerpiece of the outfit. And for my earrings, I have this over the moon um, dangling kind of earring. Earrings are my favorite accessories because I think that it just looks really nice like sitting on your head or on your ears. So yeah, these are all the accessories that I have from Eta Love. I'm so excited to let you guys know that one of you can actually win a $500 Eta Love gift card certificate just by watching this video and commenting something down below. I'm gonna include a link down in the description box down below where you guys can enter for the giveaway. I wanted to let you guys know that even if you don't win the giveaway, just by signing up and subscribing to Eta Love in the link down below, you guys can get $25 Eta Love gift certificate on your email. So that's automatic. Thank you so much Eta Love for being so generous and for giving me these really nice accessory pieces and for sponsoring today's video. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from the thrift. So I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start off with all of the items I got from Intramuros and then I'm gonna move on to everything that I got from Baguio. So it's like more organized. I'm gonna start off with tops. So the first one I have is this halter top, um, Hawaiian print swimsuit kind of top. Perfect for summer. A tip for you guys if you're thrifting is don't skip out on the kids section because that is where they usually hide these like really nice crop tops or like halter tops. Next thing I have is this tube top. Kara actually was the one who found this and I think it's so nice. It's this Roxy um, tube top. Very Y2K vibes. So I got this sports like working out top because I've been trying to step up my fitness game recently and I've been needing some workout tops like this and I found this for only 90 pesos and it's a Nike workout top so I decided to get it, why not? Oh my god, guys, this is like the best piece I've found thrifting in a while, like I can't believe I found this. This is how the top looks like. Like, oh my god, it looks so nice. It's a nice, nice vest, right? Like, it's a nice structured vest. So this is, I was really happy with this already. I saw this and I was like, yes, this is going home with me. And then I was looking through the racks, and then I found this skirt, and it matches it perfectly. And when I tried this on for the first time, I was so shocked because I didn't, I wouldn't even think that this was thrifted if I saw someone wearing it. It's just so nice, you guys. And guess how much I got it. That's the best part. This skirt was 90 pesos and this top was also 90 pesos. So this set was 180 pesos. And it looks so expensive. I really want to wear this outfit but I don't want to waste it. You guys ever feel like that? Like you want to wear an outfit so bad but you want to wear it in like the perfect time and place? Because that's how I feel about this set. It's just so good and I'm so happy that I found this. Just be patient when you thrift because I was close to giving up already and I was like gonna leave and then I saw this skirt and I was like, I'm content. 
So yeah, I got this like striped orange, red, and yellow top. This is nice for summertime, just a nice pop of color. And then I also got this one. It's just a halter top with this like paisley print. I love the high neckline and the thin straps of it. This is actually so cool. It's from Forever 21, but the tag is like super old. So let's move on to skirts. And I think these are my favorite things that I thrifted in Intramuros. So the first one is this skirt. It's so cool. It's like a black skirt with stars all over them and it's in this leather material and then the next skirt that I found that was right next to this one was this like cargo army kind of skirt super comfy as well and super convenient because they have a lot of pockets so I found this one it's in this like army kind of style of skirt I found this khaki cargo skirt this is super low-waisted, but that's what I love about it. I can wear it with longer tops and still have like a bit of skin peeping out. And I just love the color of this. Wait, actually it kind of looks like the color of puke now that I'm looking at it. But I think that's what makes it unique. I got this green one. This is just a nice staple to have. A nice plain green cargo skirt. It has a lot of pockets. In the back as well and then i wanted to show you guys uh, this one i got this one last year but this is my all-time favorite cargo skirt it's from vintage guest i love cargo skirts so much i know i'm gonna be wearing them a lot for summer or all throughout the year so lastly i got this white skirt just a nice basic nice white skirt to have for like more colorful tops. So that's all of the stuff that I got from Intramura. Super happy with everything that I found. So let's move on to all of the stuff that I got from Baguio. So a tip for you guys if you're thrifting in Baguio is if you want to look for more wearable pieces that are like shirts, skirts, pants, like a more wide variety range. I was gonna say variety and range at the same time. A more wide range and variety of clothes are in Skyworld. But if you guys are more into like jackets, track pants, all of that kind of stuff, windbreakers, then go to the night market. So it just really depends on what you're looking for. The jackets that I'm gonna show you guys, those are all from the night market. And the rest of the stuff is from Skyworld. So I'm gonna start off with all of the tops that I found. First off is this vest. It's just this like navy blue suede cropped vest. I just thought this would be a nice like basic piece to have. I found this cropped denim vest. I love the denim and the crop. This is like a nice 2000s or 90s piece to have. Half zip sweater. It's so cute. Okay, this is from the kids section again, but I love it so much. It's giving Rory Gilmore vibes. My mom found me this dress on the rack. It's like this long maxi dress that's a halter style and it has like this eyelet detailing on it. One of the things on the top of my to find list at the thrift are cargo pants and I found these cargo pants. They're just white and low waisted. I love all of the like pockets on it and the drawstring detailing at the bottom. I think this is the most expensive thing that I thrifted but I just I love it so much. So it's a pair of army green cargo pants and it has like white piping all throughout the sides and the top. I got three jackets from the night market and honestly I don't really know why I buy jackets because it's so hot. First jacket I found is this one. It's so nice! I love it so much. It's just this like bomber jacket with a corduroy detailing. It's giving me like Bella Hadid vibes. Okay, next jacket I have is this brown one. It's a Nike jacket. This actually isn't mine. I'm gonna be giving this to someone, but it's from Nike and I just love the corduroy or the suede material of this jacket. Lastly, I have this Nike jacket in this plaid print, like a flannel thick jacket kind of vibe. And I just, I think it's really nice for like some more street style outfit and I love like the fit and like the print of it so yeah that is everything that I have to show you guys for this haul we finally made it to the end that was a lot of pieces thank you so much again at the love for being so generous and sponsoring today's video and yeah that is it for today's haul I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next week for another video bye guys